It is Dr. Scrote here. I have done many experiments using online dating apps. I have used myself as a test subject. I've used a male model. I've used a hot old big chested gilf. I've used someone who, let's say, doesn't conform to our beauty standards traditionally. Or, uh, in layman's terms, a fat, saggy, old, flabby bitch. As you know, I've done all of these experiments for the progression of science to find the truth, but there's one particular experiment that I've been putting off doing. And that's because in my heart, there's something telling me it might be a little bit morally questionable to continue doing these. The concept of this experiment is really quite simple. You just put a hot girl profile on a dating app. But there are some moral qualms people have with this. When you think about it, this might be one of the only matches these guys are getting. But it's all going to be fake. And I'm going to be playing these little jokes and leading them along and giving them false hope. All for it to crumble in the palm of their little hand. I know from past experiments and other research that many men on these apps are genuinely lonely and they're just looking for some human connection. And here they are unknowingly being used as lab rats to prove some sort of a point or make some sort of a joke. But I've come to think about things in a different perspective and that is them. These guys deserve it because they're stupid. Here's the profile right here, Paige. Just a, just you know, a good-looking young girl. Uh, as you know, with any uh, with any fake account, you gotta put a random ass dog at the end of it. And look at this shit. <laughs> this shit is so bait. I get way too excited about anime. <laughs> These guys are gonna be like, oh wow, she likes anime too. <laughs> Matches are flooding in. I'm already overwhelmed. It's been like five minutes. We knew this was gonna happen. You don't have to be, you know, Ed Edgar Case. You don't have to be clairvoyant to predict this is gonna happen with a hot girl profile. But here's where we get into the nitty gritty. Let's just, you know, let's start off light and rope them in a little bit with a hey, with two Y's. The results of this experiment aren't really meant to be quantitative. We already know that this account will get a maximum amount of likes and a bunch of matches. Um, I mean, you could even just have a blank profile and set the gender to female, and it will still max out on likes in less than a week. But the findings of this experiment are meant to be qualitative. What level of desperation will these men display in the messages? Um, and I, I could make them do a lot of stuff. I'm not even going to go all out. I bet I could probably take money from these guys with this profile if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to try. I'm going to try to keep it lighthearted. Here's my hypothesis for this experiment. I think what happens when guys match with a profile like this is all of their like cognitive ability, their prefrontal cortex will shut down. Um, and they'll just be it be in horny brain. Oh my gosh. I've already gotten so many matches. I'm tired of saying the same shit Mmm Yummy Oh, it is so over man all these 40 year old guys super swiping. Hey daddy. Hey Paige even busted out the super like for you And yes, you can call me daddy oh. Are you circumcised? Haha, ha, I am is this a good or bad thing? No! Where are your foreskin at? Hello. Hi, how's your week going? Diarrhea. Haha, ha, really? What did you eat? I don't know, but it was bad. Are you into pegging? I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe it was the stomach flu. What is pegging? It is where I wear a dildo and go to town on your ass. I never tried that. Is that something you're into? I don't think I'd like anything around my ass, honestly. I really want to try. Okay, but I get to do stuff to you. No! <laughs> What I'm doing is not morally bankrupt, it's actually quite the opposite. I'm teaching these men a very valuable lesson, and that is that being horny has always had consequences and it always will, especially in today's day and age. It is imperative that you keep your worm on a very tight leash. If you let him loose for even just a little bit, 
you turn back and your whole life is destroyed. These guys are lucky they're just getting off with a warning. The consequences could be way worse. Hey there, how are you? You're gorgeous by the way. Aw, oh, thank you. You're welcome, what are you up to? I'm just looking for someone to do something. What's that? Would you like to watch me and my BF have sex? In person or like watch a video? In person. I mean, sure, lol. Oh my god. I can't do this shit anymore. Hello, hi Paige. Oh my god, you're gorgeous. Oh, boring, whatever. Uh, do you have any plans this weekend? I want you to hit my ass with the Korean thunder. I can do that, just tell me when and where. Can I tell you what I want to do? What? I want to suck on your tits. Yours look amazing. Would you like to meet up sometime this next weekend? <laughs> Ain't no way he said, wow, that's hot. What is this? Hey, uh, howdy. Are you into pegging? No, but for you, I might reconsider. Shut your dumb ass up. Woo! Wow, woo! Your dog is crazy cute. Thank you. <laughs> I want your mighty pork. Oh no, some guy's calling me. I can't have that. All of these apps, most of them being owned by the same conglomerate known as Match Group, have a sinister algorithm that is also used in other social media platforms that keeps you coming back for more always by preying on your false sense of hope, just giving you a little bit of crumbs so you don't leave. They prey on your dopaminergic system because they are well aware of how it works. They are very calculated in trying to siphon as much energy and money from atomized, distraught men as possible. As a lonely, atomized, frustrated young man, you are the optimal consumer. Your male anatomy paired with your desperation, paired with your lack of positive social circle or mentors to steer you in the right direction, allows all of these people to easily famoose you out of all of your guap. That is why I am finally conducting this experiment, to make an example out of these men, to let them off with a warning that they need to get off these apps and they need to control themselves, or at best get exploited, or at worst, fuck up their entire life. I mean, that's kind of part of it, but the real reason is that uh, it's kind of fun. Much like the trickster of Norse mythology, I find great enjoyment in deceiving these people and making them do silly little things and toying with their emotions. And yes, I feel completely justified in doing so. These guys need to think. If they used their head, they could pretty easily figure out, before I even trick them, that they are going to be tricked. But they're not gonna do that. Ooh, give me some nectar. LOL, what would you like to know? Do you have big feet? 13s, prove it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm completely lying. I wear a 12, 11 and a half to 12. But what if I did have 13s, then what, LOL? Send me a picture of your feet. This guy sent me like so many messages after that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the, uh, the classic. I see that you're a very good actor. I want to see your toes. My love, what is your obsession with feet? You must tell me. I just like them. Man, you gay. Are you circumcised? Yes. Is this like an issue or... Fuck! Alright, it's only a matter of time before I'm banned at this point. Hi, hey, how's your day been? Tell me you ain't circumcised. Well, hi there, Paige. How are you? I've never gotten an ah, haha. Pretty good. Are you usually into older men? I want you to milk me like a crazy guy. Hey, how are you? Just thinking about 9-11. LOL, okay? It was pretty bad. So what made you think of that on a Thursday night in January? Just reminiscing. Can you jihad my minge? You are way too attractive. To what do I owe the pleasure? I want to go to Chili's and fuck. Dumbass question, but are you for real on that? Put it in my ass. Put it in my ass. Put it deep in my ass. <laughs>
Hi, Paige is in the house. I'm gonna send your balls to another dimension. Yes, for sure. I'll be the one rocketing someone to the fifth dimension, lol. Oh, Benjamin, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Alright. It looks like the- it looks like I was finally captured. You see how many matches I got? I got a thousand likes within like an hour of making the thing. You know- you know how many- you know how many options hot girls get on Tinder? You think your ass is gonna get slipped through? What are you- what are you, retarded? These are simply devices to extract your money. Alright? It ain't even gonna work for you if you're good looking, bro. All, every once in a while you'll just- have some, have some one night stand, oh, if you haven't had it, you'd think they're so dope, they're not, they kinda suck. Okay, what you're missing is a community and healthy relationships, and, uh, now you're just swiping on these apps, <clears throat> or maybe thinking if your jawline was a little bit better, it would work for you, nah, you'd still be fucked. You got a few options, you either go trans, go gay, uh, try your hardest to, uh, get in shape, get money, uh, build confidence and build a social circle most importantly or you just give up and um, Try to appreciate what you have and still live and keep on going and have healthy copes to live out the rest of your days <clears throat> All right, don't use this shit No, no, no this only works for people who already kind of have you know dating lives and social lives and people who are already tall and attractive um, it, that's, that only applies to men, I guess. I mean, if a girl didn't have any of that stuff, it would still work for her. That would probably be more attractive to most of these guys. But, uh, yeah. That's that. So you know why he's called Colonel Sanders? No, why? Oh, because he is... Because <laughs> he's finger-licking good.